Tavo Besta was a charismatic, successful businessman who had everything he could ever want, a loving family, a great career and a beautiful home. But there was one thing he couldn't have, and that was his ex-girlfriend Monfundo. They had been together for years and Tavo had loved Monfundo with all his heart. But she had left him for another man, and that had broken his heart. Tavo couldn't get over the fact that Monfundo had left him, and he became completely obsessed with her. He would follow her around, call her constantly, and even broke into her house to watch her sleep. Nomfundo was terrified of Tabo, and she eventually got a restraining order against him. But that wasn't enough to stop Tabo, he was determined to have Nomfundo back, no matter what. And one fateful night, he broke into the bee and be where Nomfundo was staying and brutally raped and murdered her. He then left her body there, hoping to avoid getting caught. But the police soon found out about the crime, and Tabo was charged with rape and murder. He was sentenced to life in prison, with no possibility of parole. Tabo was devastated by his sentence, and he vowed to escape prison no matter what. And that's when he met Drive. Nandifa, a beautiful and intelligent woman, who was working at the prison. Drive. Nandifa was immediately drawn to Tabo, and she began visiting him regularly in his cell. They soon fell in love and drive. Nandipa was willing to do anything to help Tabo escape. She eventually came up with a plan. She would steal three dead bodies from the mall and switch them with Tabo's body. Tabo would then set fire to his cell, and everyone would assume that he had died in the fire. Drive. Nandifa did not hesitate to involve her father as she knew that his connections and wealth would be useful in helping Tabo escape from prison. Her father, although hesitant at first, eventually got involved in the plan knowing that Tabo was a wealthy man with resources that could come in handy in the future. With his help, they were able to bribe the prison guards and create a diversion to make sure Tabo escaped undetected. Drive. Nandifa's father also used his connections to make sure Tabo had a safe place to go to after his escape. Although her father's involvement in this mess was risky, Drive. Nandifa knew that his help was crucial in executing the plan successfully. And with Tabo now free, they could finally focus on finding a solution to the larger problem at hand. The plan worked perfectly, and Tabo was able to escape prison with Drive. Nandifa's help. They fled to a luxurious mansion where they lived together in secret. Two months after his escape, Tabo and Drive. Nandipa was spotted walking together in a local store. But their happiness was short-lived, Drive. Nandipa soon abandoned her two children in school and ran away with Tabo to Tanzania. But their luck ran out when they were caught trying to travel to Kenya. Both Tabo and Drive. Nandifa were arrested and sent back to prison, where they were finally held accountable for their crimes. 
Tabot Lester's story is a cautionary tale about what can happen when obsession turns into violence. His actions were tragic and unforgivable, and they will never be forgotten by those who loved and lost Nombundo. Their dream of starting a new life in another country was shattered, and they now had to face the consequences of their illegal actions. As they were being escorted back to their home country, the couple couldn't help but regret their choices and wonder what their future held. They knew they had made a mistake, and they were ready to accept the punishment that awaited them. It was a lesson learned the hard way.